Hello, everyone. It's Matt from The Pen Habit. Glad to have you back for another review. As I get close to the end of season two, I wanted to make sure I get through all of the pens that I'm planning on raffling at the end of the season raffle for the Pen Habit supporters, and today's pen is another one of those. So this pen is the Pilot Custom Heritage, or excuse me, Pilot Custom 74, not Custom Heritage, that's something different, and uh, a pen I bought from a, a Japanese eBay seller, but it's a pen that's very widely available, very well respected, and uh, I can see why. Now, before I get into the review of this pen, let me just uh, address the elephant in the room. I've reviewed three Pilot pens in the past, and my opinion of two of those three was not terribly favorable. Uh, the Pilot Falcon is a pen that I, I didn't care for. I had a very bad first experience with it. Um, and then I tried and I did a re-review later on. It was a little better, but it's still just not the right pen for me. Then I had uh, a Pilot Metropolitan, which is the, the, you know, the entry level pen, really. It's $15. Um, it's a solid pen. It writes well. It's a little too small for me, and it just doesn't do anything for me. It's a pen that I don't particularly care for. Uh, and I have been raked over the coals repeatedly for my dislike of the Pilot Metropolitan. Be that as it may, it's a good little pen. My disliking it doesn't take anything away from your liking of the pen. Uh, it's just not for me. Uh, and then I had a Pilot Vanishing Point, a pen which I, I actually liked quite a bit, but one that just didn't get enough use from, to make the cut to stay in my collection. Um, it was very smooth, wrote really well, uh, very convenient, but uh, just, again, not a, a pen that I was super excited about. The Pilot Custom 74 is a pen that a lot of people really like. It's not a super expensive pen. It's kind of what I consider, consider the next step pen. Uh, it's, it's more than $100, at least it is here in the United States. Um, it's a very solid pen, well made, uh, and, and a very good writer. So I'll stop talking about it without showing it to you. So here's the box that comes in. Just a cardboard sleeve. Pull that out. And uh, mine came in this black plastic pen coffin, Pilot logo on the top. So open that up, it says Pilot in gold on the top. You get a fountain pen care and use guide, something in Japanese that I have no idea what it is, a, an ink cartridge, and then we get to the pen itself. Now, it's hard to tell uh, in this lighting and just in general, but this pen is not black. It's actually a very, very dark green. Now, I like green pens. Uh, I was expecting this to be a little greener than it is, um, but it is not black. Now, this is not a color that's available in the United States, so if you're here in the States, as a great number of my viewers are, uh, the only way to get this is to order it through an eBay seller or from a Japanese retailer, because it's not available here in the States. Uh, it is a pretty standard looking cigar shaped pen. Again, it's many of these uh, Japanese pens are quite understated, uh, which there's nothing wrong with. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice classic design, a little, a little bland for me, but a, a very nice classic design. So rounded finial here, you've got a very stiff clip um, with the ball on the bottom. I don't particularly care for this, this clip design. It just doesn't do anything for me. There's, again, nothing wrong with it. It's just not, it doesn't scream to me, I love this. Um, I don't generally get excited about clips anyway, so no big loss there. Uh, custom, it says Custom 74 Pilot made in Japan across the cap there and has a little uh, little star symbol. Then the pen comes down to another little brass washer and the, uh, the end finial. Pulling the pen apart, the threads on the cap and the barrel, between the cap and the barrel, are very smooth and very finely machined, which is what I have found on all of uh, Pilot's pens. They're, they're well-made pens. They're, they're very solidly made pens. Pull the pen apart, and you've got... A, we'll get to the nib in a second, but the section here is uh, kind of concave and then flares out with a little bevel on the edge. Then another washer here, 
unscrew the barrel and you've got a metal flange that holds the converter. It's got a little ink on my fingers. And uh, this is the Pilot's Con 50 converter. This is the converter that came with the pen. Um, I've talked about this before. Pilot has three converters that they sell. The Con 20, which is an aerometric squeeze converter. The Con 50, which is a twist style converter. And the Con 70, which is a, a pump style converter. The Con 50 is my least favorite of the three. Well, the Con 20, I don't, con I don't consider even worthy of using. <laughs> I just hate that thing so much. Oh, uh, okay, let the hate mail come. Uh, the Con 50 is a little better, but it, it just has a very small ink capacity. It's just not that big. Uh, it feels like a very small ink capacity. Real wide opening, um, but it's just not, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't, again, doesn't speak to me. Um, I don't know whether or not the Con 70 fits in this pen. So if you have a uh, Custom 74 with a Con 70 in it, by all means, leave a message in the comments below to help anyone out in case they are curious. Uh, I, I have a Con 70, but I forgot to to put it in the pen before I started writing. Um, so again, this is a very classic understated design, very comfortable in the hand, uh, nice looking pen, and I, I really have nothing bad to say about it at this point. There's a few design elements that don't get me, you know, jumping up and down in my chair, but at the same time, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's, it's quite a nice classy design. The nib is a 14 karat gold nib, and it says Pilot 14K 585, and then it has a number five on it, and this is a broad nib. Nice scroll work around the outside of the nib. So, like many Japanese nibs, Pilot nibs tend to run a little on the narrow side. Um, I find that I found that to be true on this pen for fine and medium, you know, for, for pilot pens that I've tried, the fines and the mediums tend to run on the narrow side of fine and medium. I feel like once you get to broad, uh, the, the, <laughs> the Japanese pen makers just throw their hands up and say, whatever, just go use the same Western size. Cause this is a, this is a broad broad. It feels like almost every other broad that I have in my collection. Now, granted, I don't have a lot, but I have, I have quite a few. So anyway, let's talk through the pen's stats. So we have, when capped, a nice 144 or 41 millimeters. So it's a long pen, a little on the slender side, but nice and long. Uncapped, you're looking at 125, and uh, that's long enough to use unposted, which is how I use this pen. Uh, it is, it can be posted, it's just friction fit. It's 159 millimeters when it is posted and nicely balanced. So if you are a pen poster, this is a pen that posts quite nicely. The section is 9.8 millimeters. The barrel, 11.6. And the widest point of the cap would be 14.6 millimeters. And it's a mostly plastic pen. Uh, I believe these parts are injection molded uh, as opposed to being turned, uh, which is that's that's pretty common for you know for these mass manufactured pens, um, but I believe it is twelve. It's twelve grams with the converter and ink in the pen, uh, and then an extra eight grams for the cap for a total of twenty. So it's a pretty light pen. Uh, I will tell you right off the bat, I like this pen. I'm not like turning cartwheels over it, but I like it a lot. This is another one of those pens that falls into the really solid workhorse pen category for me. Uh, I know, for instance, that Brian Goulet of Goulet Pen Company carries one of these as part of his daily carry. Uh, um, so it, it's a nice pen. It's a very, very good writer, too. So let me stop jabbering and walk you through how the thing writes. We are looking at Pilot Custom 74. We have a 14 karat gold broad nib. The ink for today is Private Reserve Spearmint. You're looking for a bright, sunny, exciting, shady green. I, I really like Private Reserve Spearmint. It's a neat looking green. 
Um, and we're on a Rodeo dot pad. ADGSM. Okay, so here is your quote. A truism, if ever one was written, and an area in which I need to focus in my own life. Uh, uh, I, I tend to be a little on the selfish side. A little more giving would be good, good for me to do. Okay, so let's just go through this pen here. Really smooth writer. It does have some feedback, and, and I found this to be true of most of the Japanese brands that I've tried. I found it true with Sailor. Uh, with Nakaya, with Platinum, and with Pilot. They tend to polish their nibs a little less than, than many of the European makers do. Their nibs don't float quite the way they do, but you never, you, it, they're never unpleasant necessarily. Well, I should not say never. They are rarely unpleasant, but they are rarely butter smooth. They, they have a nice feedback, so you can feel your writing on the paper. You can feel the paper and get that tangible effect, but it's never... Uh, it's, I don't find it unpleasant. I would probably smooth the nib a little bit more just because that's the way I like my pens. But uh, I, were I keeping this, I probably, I might smooth it a little, but I might just leave it alone. It's a great writer as it is. Um, and consistent as all get out. I actually haven't, I inked this pen up about three weeks ago and haven't opened the cap since. and. It's writing like a champ right out of the box. No, uh, no delays, no hard starts, no skipping. Um, I haven't run into any issues with ink starvation uh, or, or that sort of thing. It really is a, a rock solid writer, um, which is one of the things many people tell me about most of Pilot's pens. The only pen that I have, the only and the only Pilot experience I have had where it wasn't a rock solid writer was a Pilot Falcon, but that's because the nib had been damaged. Um, so it had been damaged even before I got it. So that's not a fair comparison. Uh, but every other Pilot pen I've ever tried has been a very, very solid, very consistent writer, which for a work workhorse pen, an everyday carry pen, is something that is just invaluable. Uh, in terms of line variation. There's a little, but it's a pretty rigid nib. You're not going to get a whole lot of line variation. I do love this nib. This ink has such great shading. I love to see the, the shading on the, the bottom loops there. It really is quite nice. Um, but it's, it's, ni it's a nice, nice writer. Uh, reverse writing, it's not great. It's very fine, but super dry. Almost can't read it. Uh, I, I, I just don't, I would probably, well, I never reverse right, but I probably wouldn't with this pen without doing a little work on the nib. Um, but you can see, you know, let me pull up one of my other recently reviewed pens here um, to show you a side-by-side -side comparison. So this is a, a medium from uh, the Crone Continuum that I reviewed. And this is the broad from the uh, the Pilot 74, you can see that it actually writes like a broad. It doesn't write like a medium. So I found with the broad on this nib, it doesn't, you're not going to get quite the same one to one and a half sizes narrower than the designation would indicate if it were a European nib. It's pretty close to the same, actually. At least it is for me on this pen. But it's a really nice writer. I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. it I, like I've mentioned, I'm not over the moon about this pen, but that has mostly to do, I think, with the fact that it's just kind of understated. 
And I've been called a lot of things in my life, but understated is not one of them. <laughs> boy, is, boy, is that an understatement. Uh, it, so I tend to like my pens with a little more personality. Uh, if you're one of those people who really likes a super classic, understated look, you like a pen that's a little on the slender side, but not super skinny. Um, you want a pen that is a, a real workhorse of a pen that will write perfectly every time. Look at the Pilot Custom 74. I think you'll be really, really happy with this pen. As it is, this pen, were, were I not going to be raffling this off at the end of the season, I'd probably be keeping it in my collection versus selling it. Um, but I don't know that I will rush out to buy it. Uh, not because it's not a great writer, I've, but I've got lots of great writers in my collection. It's just, it's just uh, an aesthetics thing um, for me. So, Hopefully that has given you a nice overview of the Pilot Custom 74. Uh, I, I, I really can't recommend the pen enough. It's a great writer. I think you'll like it a lot. And depending on where you get it, it's really quite affordable. It's, you know, I got this for less than $100 from the eBay seller that I bought it from. And, uh, you know, we're fortunate here in the United States. We almost never have to pay import dues um, so or customs fees or anything like that. So. Uh, you know, between the shipping and the pen, I think it was like, it was $103. It's, it's a little more expensive if you buy it from an American retailer, if you buy it from an in-country retailer necessarily, but you'll get local support and, and, and that's very valuable as well. So if, especially if you're not familiar with fixing your own pens and you want to make sure you've got a, a local source of help, uh, make sure to buy it in-country. So, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or even better on penhabit.com. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Insta Instagram, uh, Google+. All of those links are down in the show notes below. And uh, if you would like to donate to the Pen Habit, there's a link for supporting the Pen Habit also in the description below. You will have until the 25th of June, 2015, to donate to the Pen Habit. And uh, after that, anyone who has donated for every dollar they donate will get an entry for the raffle for this pen and all of the other pens that I'm raffling off at the end of the season. Thank you, as always, for watching this video and all of my videos on Pen Habit. If you haven't, please subscribe, and we will see you here next time on The Pen Habit. Thanks for watching.